Well, every every player gets a a limited amount of plots. So, the the most kind of 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 griefing you could do that I could see. The only the only thing I think they're they're gonna actually have problems with is if like a streamer is trying to make a big city somewhere. There's nothing in place for a bunch of people that want to grief him to come in and like just put plots all around wherever they want to be. But I mean, that could that would happen with any group of people. And that would also like, there's not really anything you could do a, about that. So there in a game like this, where players, where there's a limited amount of a resource space and players can claim it, there will always be ways that players can exploit limited resources for their own game. Every game. That's, that's just, that's a human thing. It's, I, the only really way to get about, to get around that is in a lot of ways being reactive instead of proactive. And I feel like a way that they're going to be able to do that is by making it so, for instance, um, you can't connect plots wall to wall without being in a clan. So what that means is, is that you can't surround a plot and build walls. There will always be a, a, a place between the plots you can run. So they they did put in they did put in things like that. Um, you know, so so there, there's that stuff. But in terms of in terms of people like you know claiming land that's claimable, like that, you, you can't. If the land is claimable, it's claimable for everyone, and and it's not fair for it not to be. So just inherently by saying that, you're opening the doors to a, a whole lot of issues. But if you do it any other way, it's not fair. You know, like it's one of those catch 22s kind of. Um, the only other way they could do it is if like you could pre-claim for a clan or something. But at that point, you know, at that point, you're very quickly going into like favoritism. And, you know, then you're introducing a whole bunch of other problems. What happens if a, a clan claims a whole area and doesn't use it? Was that fair to all the other players that would love to use that land in the area? What if they claim the, the most beautiful plots in the area and then don't use them? So all sorts of issues that arise from that. So I think, I think the short answer is the more basic and fair they can keep it, the more of that onus they put on the players and the less headaches they give themselves. And as long as they keep it so the players can continue playing by doing things like making it so plots can't connect if they're not in clans, I think that's fine. Yep. And they also, of course, have stuff in place to where if someone leaves the game, uh, we were talking about this earlier today, if... If you put your plot down and if you put your plot down with 10 friends and you guys build a giant city and then all nine of your friends leave, then it'd be like, oh, great. Well, I'm screwed, right? I can't build anything else. Oh, man, all the plots are going to leave. Well, they already have all sorts of systems in place for plots to eventually become unclaimed so you can claim them. Um, when they become unclaimed, they decay so they eventually disappear. Um, you, they only join together in clans. Clans have full access to all plots. So stuff like that. And uh, all that's already in the game. Which is good. Thank you, Barely. So this is impure, and we're harvesting it at six per? Did we get six total? No, nine total. Okay. Hey, uh, Barely, can you fight these guys behind? Do they, like, drop loot and stuff? What are these things? What is a Zebia? Ooh. Drakov says, remember this in six months? Rem remember which part? Those guys will murder you with no gear, Co. Oh, really? Barely has gear. Yeah, I don't remember what happened last week, let alone in six months. I I'm not sure what you're asking me to do here, but that's not a reasonable request. <laughs> Oh my god! Bro just casually tapped me for half my health. I like how their names change colors when they on aggro. It's kind of fun. Leashing is also pretty heavy. Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. All right. Nope, we aren't. We aren't. We aren't. Help, barely. Hip. Hip. Ow. Oh wait, let's see if Barely can get him. I think Barely just pulled him down. 
Now, I think if I wait here, barely can actually res me. Although, I may be able to just revive right next to me. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. That works. Oh, corpse summoning. Oh, no, we gotta be close. Where are we? We're not far. Mm -mm. Mods carrying Ko again? You know it. You know it. Mm -mm -mm. I like my skivvies. Ooh. I feel like that's a fire hazard. Nice open roof concept. A lot of decorated chests. Nice, nice. Cool, man. Checking out the roof, you know? Is that all a player built structure right there? I think it is. Cool. Damn, dude. That is serious. Oh yeah, this is, no, this is all built by players. This is 100% player built. Oh, look at the clock. It's a sundial! Oh. Cool! Does that work? No way. I wonder if that works. I think I just saw a move a second ago. That's fun, dude. That's really fun. How cool. Uh, okay, I think, yeah, what's this one? Oh, so this is cool. So these guys built a player built thing around a non player built thing. So these two, these two are not player built. But everything else is. I I think? Wait, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh no, 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 no. I don't think it's the player built thing. Nope, never mind. Never mind. This is one of the non player built things. My bad. You can tell by the destruction. I don't think you can put destruction in your own buildings. Yeah, this is an NPC camp, I think. That's one of the that's one of the non-player built things. These are all over the map. Right here. So as far as I know, these ruins and these like uh NPC dungeon thingies, maybe these two. Yeah, that's that's like all the NPC built stuff on the map. Is just around these areas. These are just uh respawn stones. These aren't actually structures. These are dungeons. And I think these are just more ruins too. Yeah, not a lot. Not a huge amount. And then all of this, for instance, is just forests, trees, lakes. No no construction of any kind. Well, it used to be. Now it is. So, <laughs> <clears throat> is a free fly available to everyone or just content creators? Uh, I think you just hit F7, man. I, I mean, I, I don't think there's anything different from my client than yours. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know if they're going to be keeping that in on release. This this is, if you hit F7, there's a free cam. Um, it's a, it's definitely a tethered mouse movement. So it is clear there's thought with this camera for it to be for like base tours and stuff. And I think it's a great idea. Um, right now, the free cam is literally endless though. So you can just do whatever you want and go wherever you want, which obviously is way, way, way too overpowered. Um, but I will say like the idea of wandering into a plot area and then being able to hit F7 and use this camera and only stay in the, the, the plot or the group of plots. I, I, I hope they do that. That's like a no-brainer, dude. That'd be perfect for this game, for base tours and stuff. So, but yeah, I would not expect this in on release. 
I I would not expect that to stay in. Not not in the not in its current form. The big castle here is a scratch build by a small group of three or four guys. I've been watching their progress. Cool. Very cool. Great. Also, points to the devs for items going back to their place on the hotbar. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, let's go to... Oh, we got well, we got some iron. How much iron did we get? We need a bunch of iron. We got uh, 28. So let's go try to find a little bit more. Maybe we can find some not so close to those uh, jerks over there. Get some food. Food is really important, and I have not been nearly as good about it as I should have. Or as I should be. It's kind of Valheim-y where your, your food types all kind of additively come together. Which is really nice. You can kind of build little configurations that you like. Barely's a real one for waiting for Co. Barely is awesome. Bar Bar we met Barely in Elite Dangerous when, funny enough, he was doing exactly what he's doing right now for Elite Dangerous. So this, this is how I met Barely. I started playing Elite Dangerous. He found me playing it. And then he was like, hey, can I, I don't know you, but can I show you around in the game? And I was like, sure. <laughs> so what you're seeing right now is how me and Barely met in a different game. Yep. And he just started hanging out in the channel and now he's a mod. <laughs> and doing the same thing in other games, which is kind of fun. Yeah. Fun times. Oh, what's this? Is that clay? Maybe see real quick oh yeah just clay i've already found 200 percent more clay today than last time i played nice yeah they they seem to either up the clay rates or they are far better balanced for the current population around here there's loads of clay stone iron and various plants cool sorry Fox. Oh, yeah, there's more clay right there. Dang, dude. All over the place here. Um, I'm not seeing any iron, though. Is all the iron close to enemies? I hope not. I need to find some iron that will get me killed to, uh, to do that. Tip, collect clay? Oh, we have tons of clay. Yeah. Uh, Delta Vine! Glad to see you playing this and looking forward to seeing you and the community's reaction to all the magical player built castles and towns. If you haven't seen what Asmongold's clan built, oh my. Oh, we did. The castle at the top? Yeah, we actually were looking at that earlier today. Um, it, it is awesome. Yeah, the, the building system in this game at, at this uh, scope is not one we normally see in this games, in these types of games. So it is it is definitely going to, that and the or, and how organic the building system is kind of combine to make some really, really cool potential things in this game. Yep. It's one of the things that has me excited for it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Chat was saying that was not Asmund Golds that we looked at earlier. Oh. I thought chat was saying it was. We, we were looking at a castle on the very top of a mountain. Hmm. Now that was a Polish clan. It looks like Asmund's, but Asmund's is bigger. Okay. So where where is Asmund's? Can we... Is there a way for us to go there? I don't think there's a fast travel system. At least not yet. I wonder if we could free camp. No, it's on a different continent. Yeah, no, we're fine. That castle was made by a Polish group. Oh, cool. Very cool. Nice. Look at that. These are one of the ruins. You can see the NPCs down there. <clears throat> so eventually, from what I understand... You're going to want to build your area, get all crafted up and decked out, and then, like, the plan after that is to essentially, like, go around the world. And from the dev I talked to way back in the day, uh, I actually talked with, I think, the creative director um, way back when. And one of the things that came up was EverQuest. And the thing that we were, the, the thing that I asked him about is one thing that I really didn't like about MMOs these days is the fact that that in a lot of times, like a theme park MMO, they conveyor belt you through the content, and then you're at the end game, and you have no reason at all to ever revisit the rest of the world. 
once you get to the end game in, in 90% of MMOs, you have conveyor belted past all the low level content and you never have to go to the other step. That's just how it works. That's how they work. Now, this game is different because I should have said those are traditional MMORPGs. But classic MMOs, older ones, what they did that was very interesting is that the whole world was much more on the same level. So like low level zones would also have high level enemies. Mid level zones would have low level enemies and maybe high level enemies. Um, like, and so the whole world felt much more cohesive and connected and real. And when we were talking about that, one of the things I asked them is, when I do get to the part of the game where I'm like going out and doing combat, is it going to be the kind of thing where I just find a ruin that I like and farm it? Or is it going to be the kind of thing where I'm needing to go all over the world? And his answer to me was basically the latter. He's like, we're going to make it so when you get to the point where you're like wanting to go out, that there are going to be tangible, real reasons to go and explore the world. Not just go down here and kill this type of enemy. Okay, cool. I've killed these types of enemies. So I don't need to kill them here or here or here or here. You know, like it's it's not it's not going to be just like a static line you can draw through the world of like you start here at level one, level five, level 10, level 15. Like the whole world is going to be much more real, immersive. I think is a better way to say it. So that alone has me excited because it's nice to think that it's not only a big world, but there will be reasons, tangible in-game reasons to exploring all of it. So maybe like a certain item only drops here and a certain item only drops there and a certain item only drops there and a certain item only drops there and there. So it's like you, you have reasons to go out and, and do all this stuff. So I don't know exactly what their plans are. And of course, when I, I talked to them months and months and months ago, I think before the first play tests. So, I, you know, Lord only knows what's changed until now. But I will say that it's very clear that regardless of what system they come to, the, the intention of the system is to drive players around the world. That is, that is, from what I gathered from that conversation, their intention. And that's awesome. I really like that. I like that it's not just, you know, oh, no, 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 Every everything you need is in this little area here. And, and that's all you need for this whole region. And if you're in this region, the same area is right there. So, you know, like, there's none of that in this game, from what I understand, which is great. <laughs> Does this game have any Skyrim types hill climbing? Uh, there is ledge grabbing. So, like, when you're going up things, you absolutely can, like, grab onto ledges and stuff. It makes it so you can go vertically relatively easily, which is nice. Okay, Barely, thank you so much. We're going to start uh, heading back to our base. And we are going to start processing this iron. All right. Cool. So, like, that way. Can we put waypoints down? Yeah, I think. I... That's cool. So when we find resources, we can mark them. It's kind of fun. Okay. Um. I'm trying to see if there's any, like, overlay thing I can put up to help me. What's the difference between a marker and a waypoint? I feel like the waypoint should show up on my HUD, but it's not. Um. Okay. Delta Mine. Oh, please do. Yeah, yeah. Feel free. Um, my, my Twitter DMs are open, and if you join the Coalition Discord at uh, code.tv slash discord, you can just send me a PM. My, my, as long as you're on the coalition server, my DMs are open on discord. You guys can always send me feedback or messages, whatever you want. Always, always up for feedback. Is uh, somebody, Luke Arkea said, it's a multiplayer survival game, but not an MMO. No, I would, I would argue this is an MMO. This, this actually fits the, the definition of what I would say is an MMO. It's not an MMO RPG. But it is, this is a massively multiplayer online game. They are having very limited servers. And when you are on a server at a location, everyone else shows up in that world. So, like, th this is this is an MMO. This is not like an online multiplayer game. This is an actual MMO. Um, which is cool. We don't see many of these these days. <laughs> uh, it, it, you know, normally we see online multiplayer games with mechanics to make it feel like an MMO like Warframe or Lost Ark or those types of games or Destiny 
That's what we see most of the time these days. This is an actual MMO from the more traditional definition. I should say just like indie games, the definition of MMO has, has very much organically morphed over the years. But from the more traditional definition, this is an actual MMO. Yeah, which there are not a lot of these days. Yep. Why, thank you, Era Soul. I'm thrilled you feel that way, dude. We have a, we have a lot of uh, tools in place to make it work that way. So I'm glad the message is coming across. <laughs> Do all the NPCs have that weird grunt still when fighting? I am not sure. I've mostly only done animals, uh, fought animals. But I will say that when I fight IRL, I, I have a lot of weird grunts. So um, it may just be that they're trying to be realistic. Is it possible to play this solo? I don't want to be around people. I just want to build alone, explore alone. No. This is an MMO. You will be playing with other people. Oh, good show. You cannot play this game offline in a single player format. You can absolutely play this game by yourself, never go into PvP areas, never talk to another person, and just play on your own. It will be a relatively grindy experience because this game is designed for small group play at least, arguably for much larger group play. So you will be having a grind. However, just like a lot of cozy games, a lot of you love to get home from work, log into a beautiful world, and just run around at your own pace, harvest resources, maybe have a show on your side monitor, maybe a stream, and just chill. Some people love to do that. And for you, a solo experience in this game might be fantastic because that's going to be 99% of what you do as a solo player. Harvest. So if that's your thing, you may have just found your game. Um, Because, yeah, that, that will be most of your life. Yep. That and getting gored by boars when you're not paying attention. Mm -hmm. But no, so the, the TLDR is... Hey, gravity's here. The TLDR is this game is, is absolutely playable solo, but it is not designed to be played solo. So, you know, there's that. Uh, let's go this way. It's also early access. So, you know, if, if it's a kind of thing where through early access, the devs are getting more and more people that are screaming for solo content, maybe they'll cater to that. You know, I mean, it's, that's the kind of thing where if you want that kind of thing, let the devs know. Maybe there's some, some fun, low-hanging fruit they can put into the game to make your experience better. Is that death 10 subs? Dad. <laughs> no. Stop it. <sighs> Dungeon boss fights bored me out of Conan Exiles. Can you avoid that here? Yes. If, if you don't, from what I understand, Good if you don't, show. if you don't want to do the combat and stuff, I, I don't think you have to. If you just want to do the building stuff, you absolutely could just do the building stuff. I, I don't think you need to. Yeah. Hey, yo with the Good 10 show. bomb and gamer monk with the five bomb. Yo says 10, death equals 10 subs. Okay, brother, I was supposed to be the one giving 10 subs. I, I, I. As much as I would love to think it's every time I die, every person watching me has to give me 10 subs. As much as I would love that, I, I don't think that's the case. Um, that would that would have been very nice. <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be getting 122,000 subscribes because I jumped off a ledge. Um, would be nice, though. Maybe, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Bacorio, that's right. I can stand near my corpse... And I can summon it, can't I? Oh, Barely says, can I show you my dig? Sure, dude. Absolutely. Let me get my corpse real quick and we'll go check it out. Oh, dude. Oh, jeez. That, uh, that time went way too fast. Nice. Uh, Barely, where are you? Are you anywhere near me right now? Are recipes locked behind boss fights? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know any of the combat stuff because I haven't gotten to it. The only thing I know about the combat system and the looting system and all that really cool stuff that I'm very excited about is from the dev stuff in the news section of playpacksday.com because a lot of that stuff isn't in the game yet. Some of it is, but most of it isn't. 
So if you are interested in like the combat section, um, how you're gonna choose what skills and spells you have, how the equipment is gonna uh, dictate your play experience, if you're wondering about all that, uh, playpacksday.com, look in the news section, and they have a lot of blog posts up about how that's gonna work. I like Barely's Lantern, it like signals. That's really cool. That's some, some crazy lighting. I like it. Oh, is this you barely right here? Yo, man. Dang. This is a solo build you've been doing? Cool, dude. Very nice. Shay's Shay barely. Shay's barely. <laughs> Double stairway. Oh, luxury, luxury. I like the, the trees in the house. The, ooh, 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 that's like the first nice spiral staircase I think I've seen. Oh, it's gonna be multiple, oh, it's good. I like that. Central staircase. Nice, dude, very nice. Very cool, Barely. I like it, I like it. Hey, Two hours has elapsed, I know, I know, which is, which is wild. Um, but anyway, Big, big, big thank you to our friends at PAX Day and Mainframe, and also uh, our, our new friends, which is pretty cool, at New Tales, which is a new name to that. Big thank you to them. If you want more information on PAX Day or interested in starting your own journey, check out the PAX Day command or the profile button in my profile or the pinned chat message at the top. There is a Pause, link there please. that will take you to the PAX Day purchase page where you can get a Founders Pack. A good way to think of the Founders Packs are the fact that they are kind of like supporting this and you're kind of like pledging to it. It's pretty cool. So definitely something to check out. I do want to point out though, that if you go through the link, make sure to read the entire page as the Pax Day guys, as this is an MMO, have not fundamentally and fully decided on their monetization. So read the whole page, fully inform yourself, and then take the plunge, fully understanding what you're getting into. All right, friends, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, I am still going to continue, but that is it for the Pax Day hour right now. Thank you to Barely and my mods for helping me out there. And yeah, good stuff. Give me just one second while we're switching over because my wife is calling and I'm going to see what she needs.